What up, what up, guys? Um, this is Jay Gatto here coming at you again with another story time. And today I'm going to be drawing one of my characters. Um, his name is um, Jim Rat. I think I've talked about him before. But what I want to talk about is you know, special moves and inspiration. My inspiration behind the special move. Um, now, I don't think this move, there's a move like this that exists. I think there might be, but I don't remember exactly. Um, but I'm gonna tell you how this, this, this. I got the inspiration for for this punch. Well, I, I was gonna say it's a punch, but basically he has a punch that when he hits you with this punch. It it kind of it kind of space you out. So let's say if you were to get hit by this punch by this attack, and this is a special move, what would happen is, you know, you would like let's say you're, you're fighting Jim Rat and then he hits you with this punch. What would happen is that you would space out. You would lose track of time, and you would space out. You know, kind of like just look into space. And um, and er, er, to us, to everybody spectating the fight, you know, you would just be, <laughs> you would just go blank, you know, just, you would just be looking into space. But in your mind, um, you know, what would happen is that you would have kind of like a midlife crisis type thing going into you, your, not like a midlife crisis, but it, it would be like, this punch attacks your psyche, basically. So, and um, so what would happen is you would you would you you would start hallucinating, and uh, you wouldn't know it was a hallucination. So you would in 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 that moment you would go into your head and start like having like a dream, and then in that dream, this um. You would you would start start to question your um, what you were doing there in the first place, or or what if you're actually following the right path in your life, or you know something dark and deep that's deep inside you would pop out, and you would realize that you know some you would realize something about yourself, and. Um, and you would um one moment please. All right. I was just doing something. And you would um. Yeah, maybe you know it, it, I'm thinking it would be different. It would be different for everybody. So let's say whatever your your weakness is, or your you um um you thought was your life goal. This would you know kind of question that or flip everything upside down and then once you come out of the illusion then you would either give up the fight you know or or um or realize that maybe you know you you shouldn't be there or you know or basically if you if it lasts that long you know i'm pretty sure the fight will be stopped so um so that's basically his his special move all right, that's that's what I'm planning on 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 being his special move, um. But um, but I'm gonna talk about the inspiration for this move and where it came from. Now, this came this inspiration for this move came from me, right? So, um, so he's kind of pretty much based on me a little bit, but uh, excuse me. The reason I I thought about this move was because because of two occasions. All right, so, and, and I've seen people, different reactions to punches. I have the reaction to where, the reaction that I get from most people is not of them falling to the ground. Now, one person did fall to the ground, but um, but a lot of people have, have told me that my punches do hurt. Mm, but they literally have to tell me um, I don't knock people out a lot but the reaction that I do see in people is 
the reaction of not knowing where they are. <laughs> like when, um, so for example, let's let's talk about one one time. I was spying. This happened about four, you know, about three about three years ago, about three or four years ago it happened. And um, and I remember I hit this guy with a hook, right? I hit this guy with a hook, and uh, he kind of looked at me in a weird way, like kind of forgetting he was there. And then his his leg started shaking, and it's almost like like his his brain was trying to decide whether he would should fall or not. And then finally, <laughs> his his legs remembered to fall and he fell. So that that was one that was actually the only um <laughs> the only knockdown. And it was so funny for me that when that happened I just started laughing. <laughs> the guy got up and he was like he was like, nah, nah, I tripped, I tripped. And I was like, nah, bro, you didn't trip. <laughs> I think I think you kinda that was kinda like a delayed reaction and your legs didn't know how to how to react to that. He was like, nah, nah, I'm good. So it was like a quick, it was like a quick punch. It was so quick that he kind of, um, I think it was the quickness of the punch that made him fall uh, more than the actual pain of it. Uh, man, I told him he was done. You know, he wanted to continue. And I was like, man, I don't think you should, you know, but whatever. And that that was a big guy too. He, he, he was like, uh, he was like a heavyweight. Uh, and I was a lot smaller back then. But anyways, that was one one reaction, and it got me thinking. You know, what if, uh, you know, what if there was a punch that didn't really knock you out? It kept you on your feet. It kept you on your feet, but you were spaced out. You know, because for a moment there, he he didn't go down. He stood. He stayed on his feet, but he was out on his feet. And then it's almost like <laughs> like his brain decided to to fall. He was like, "All right, we should, I think we should go down," <laughs> and he goes down. It was it's just weird reactions like that there. That that gave to me and 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 that inspired this this uh, this move that I'm trying to give um, that I'm trying to portray in this character. Um, well, the uh, the other thing, the other um, the other situation was um, way before that when I was in high school. You know, I got in a fight, uh, a street fight, which I I'm not condoning. By the way, fighting is not good. Um, not street fighting is not good. Um, you can get hurt, you know, and I'm just putting it out there cause I don't want people to think, Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a violent guy and, and, and I'm trying to make kids or people fight. It's it, violence should be the last, um, 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 the last option. Right. And, and even then you should try to make your violent. And that's, that's actually what happened in this fight. You know, I tried my best not to punch the guy. Uh, and the main reason was because I knew that... I knew that I was going to hurt him. That's number one. Number two, um, I know in the t state of Texas at the time, it was um, considered a manslaughter to to punch someone. Um, so so in the, during that fight, I was trying not to hit him. Now, the guy was bothering me for about two days um and uh, and so we got in, into a fight I try not to try not to hit him so much so I was clipping him and dropping him to the ground without really punching him and I was able to do that for you know for a while until I started to get tired and I started to realize that he was scratching me on the way down he wasn't going down just so in the movies when you see like Steven Seagal do stuff like this um it's so smooth right it's so smooth and he's able to to you know, almost um, air bend his way around people. Um, in the real world, people don't don't want to go down. And if they go down, maybe the first time they'll go down smoothly. The second time, they're gonna be more cautious and they're gonna try to bring you down with them. They're gonna start to scratch you. Um, and and even if they keep going down, which this guy was, he couldn't stop me from dropping him to the floor. He still was able to scratch me each time he went down. So each time he was going down, he was he was actually doing more damage on me than me on him. Uh, because 
it's basically like I was laying him, him down on the floor and uh, he was scratching me on the way down. So, and I began to get tired. Um, so, finally, you know, when I, one of these times that I grabbed him and tried to put him on the floor again, he grabbed me from the throat and he tried to choke me out. And I felt like I was going to go out. So, immediately, you know, I grabbed his arm and punched him, you know, as hard as I could. Um, in, in the side of his head, like kind of like on the temple. And I remember, because we were surrounded by people at the time. And I remember I was about to hit him again, you know, but I realized that the guy was out. He was out, like he was out on his feet. Um, he blanked out. He, I think he forgot he was in a fight. And he looked at me and he smiled at me, like kind of like a crazy, like, <laughs> like smiling at me and like, like he was like, like ecstatically smiling at me. And I was like, dude, like, did I, did I, did I fuck him up? Like, did I mess him up good? Like, is it dude retarded now? So, so I looked at him and he was smiling at me and I was like, and I just, I just looked at him and I tapped him on the shoulder and I was like, all right, you're done, buddy. And I walked away and everybody started laughing. Ah, but I was legit kind of scared because he was just, he stood there like blanked out, like dude was gone, bro. And he was on his feet, but he was still like, like looking at the wall. Cause there was a wall behind me. He had me against the wall. So, um, so yeah, that was the, and then I remembered, I was like, that's like the second time I hit someone. And they kind of blank out and on their feet, you know. Um, and it's it's almost like their attitude changes. So that's that's where that inspiration came from 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 myself. And there was another time I was actually sparring someone, and I wasn't trying to um, I wasn't trying to hurt the guy either. Um, but I remember hitting him with a with a straight right to right right in the middle of his face because he wasn't moving his face, so. <laughs> And, um, and, and I remember him saying, all right, I'm done. <laughs> he he said, oh, damn. All right. Time out. <laughs> he said that. And I remember thinking, man, that's like, I don't know if that's punch power. I don't know what that is, but that's where the inspiration came from. It came from the reactions from those three people to my punches. So, um, and I was thinking, you know, what if there was a punch that made people rethink um, their aggressions, make people rethink, um, you know, their whole life decisions and stuff like that, which is something that, you know, people have <laughs> have joked about in the past. You know, this guy re is rethinking his whole life decisions right now. And that's, I've actually seen it in people's faces. I've seen uh, people's faces kind of like go blank and kind of like think you know yo what am i doing here or should i be should i be here right now or stuff like that and i was thinking what if there was a punch that did that you know that would be um that would actually go into your psyche and kind of like mess around in there and see what your fears are and you know put them up in front of you and be like you know maybe you shouldn't be here or something like that and the move, the name of the move in, in, uh, that I'm going to call it in this, um, in this comic book is going to be, um, the peacemaker. Cause, um, if you think about it, you know, it kind of, kind of makes people rethink their, their, you know, situation. And it kind of makes people, um, not want to fight no more in a way. Um, so yeah, that's where the inspiration is from. Um, and it's, 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 I guess this is like a story time. Cause I told you, you know, um, kind of, I think it was three stories in a way, um, of, uh, reactions from people. Um, and I've got a hit too. And I know that sometimes like, okay, let's, let's, let's do this. I'm, I'm going to talk about a time where I play football. And I was trying out for football, and and I remember um, getting tackled, and I remember I remember quitting on that day, because <laughs> boxing, man, boxing to me, 
you know, it's it's hard. But the training is harder than the actual sparring and the fights. The training is what's really hard. Like, but when you're in there fighting, you know, if you know what you're doing and you know how to keep your guard up and stuff like that, you could stay safe. You know, you don't have to win the fight, but you could stay safe um, within a boxing match. Um, fighting, you know, with, with legs as well, too. You know, um, um, you could stay safe within within a sparring session. You could stay safe um, if even if you use kicks. Um, I haven't done jujitsu, but I'm pretty sure you could stay safe in jujitsu too because you, all you got to do is tap out, and they'll let you go. The thing about football that I didn't like was be that the reason was that my hands weren't my own like my life wasn't just in my hands you know my health and everything you know was depending on if my uh, my blockers were were blocking correctly so it's a team effort so since it's a team effort you know what if one of these guys is not in their game and one of the, the other guys linebackers you know he gets through now um now it's it's just me and the guy. So, and he's coming at me full, full speed, dude. And I was like, I was like, yo, like, I remember getting tackled. And I remember when I was on the floor, I was like, first, at first, for about like 10 seconds, I didn't know where I was. And I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing on the floor. I was like, yo, <laughs> what happened? Why am I here? And then I I slowly started to remember, you know, oh, you, you're trying out for football. And then I was like, you know, maybe I shouldn't be playing football. <laughs> and I quit that day, bro. That day I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't no way. And, you know, I, I re I've i never gotten hit by a person. Um, I've never gotten punched by a person that hard. You know, um in boxing or, or whatever, in a fight, never, bro, I've never gotten hit too, because it's one thing to get punched, and it's another thing when a whole body just comes at you, and boom, it hits you like full impact, bro, and I'm talking about, I was, back then, I was 175, right, and I was fast, um, and the guy that hit me, bro, I don't know how much he weighed, but that shit, that felt like a car, that felt like a car, like, that felt like I was in an accident. Um, and that was the only time that that happened to me. And I remember thinking, maybe this is, maybe this is what those that guy felt when I punched him, which is crazy because I generate that I generate that that power, you know, fairly easy. You know, one thing I've noticed about punching power is that if you try to generate power, you're not going to. But if you relax and you just go through the motions and just do it, uh, the, the more pure your attacks are, the more power, the more speed you're going to generate. Um, and that's something that I've noticed, you know, through time, just, you know, with different things, um, fighting and, you know, even, you know, doing other sports or whatever. Um, so it's something that I do, that I do promote a lot. So anyways guys that's the that's the story for today um and that is you know the the inspiration behind this move the peacemaker so if i was yeah that that that's gonna be the move for for my main character the peacemaker um so all right guys if you um if you um enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys Later.